Welcome back to the Matt Pierre Career Mode series as Matt returns to New Orleans for the first time since being a member of the Saints. Now, he's a division rival on the 4-1 Buccaneers. Let's go! For two years, Matt called this building home. But his time with the New Orleans Saints did not go as planned, missing the playoffs in each of the two seasons and being on an offense that was much below expectations. But now Matt has found a new home with the Tampa Bay Bucks, and for the first time in his career, he's a part of a 4-1 team. He'll look to make the Bucks 5-1 by beating the last team he suited up for. All right, Matt taking the field one game after the best game of his career. Last time against the Lions, Matt Pierre ran for 149 and two touchdowns, but that was just on the ground. 154 yards in the air and two more touchdowns might make that an untoppable mark for Matt Pierre. Let's not talk about Detroit anymore. We have the Saints here on the road. We'll face them twice here this season. Winston back to pass, and he barely gets this off. That's actually lucky to not be a fumble. And, of course, on the other side, it's going to be Cole Bulaga and this Saint offense. We're not going to see them actually play, but I guess we'll see how much they produce. And with this short field, we can't go anywhere. Thank you, Greg the Leg. He's missed the kick in like almost every game this season, but at least we get something. We just got a touchdown. I think Cole Bulaga threw a pick six. I can't confirm yet, but I'm about to try. Nope, no interception by Cole Bulaga, but a fumble by their new running back, Pierce Reese. Oh wait, it was a return punt. Okay, I'll take that. There just so happened to be a fumble as well, though. That must have been the first drive and us taking over at their 37. Anyway, it's 10-0, and Matt has no yards. So already a nice start for the team. Buccaneers now going to run it. And again, stuffed by 76. Come on, offense. Let's get this moving now. To the outside for Evans. I guess five yards is moving. If Matt can get a defensive snap, though, that'd be wonderful. Just one snap, blitzing off the edge against Cole Bulaga. Slant, caught, move the chains. Now on first down, Jameis Winston. There we go. Across the middle to Mike Evans. Back in range for Zerline. We'll run the sweep now, and Pierre again getting stuffed. Negative yardage here against the Saints. If Matt's going to produce, maybe it needs to be in the air again. Looking for a screen, and the blocks get established. Thank you very much. Matt with a move, now breaking toward the goal line. He is taken down at the 7. Not many can do it like Matt Pierre. We're now inside the 10 with Winston rolling off play action. Oh, what an effort to not count. Matt swings out to the right side. He is left open, making the catch, but the throw leads him out of bounds. We'll bring Godwin in motion. Swing Matt out. He's open. Oh, the chance was there, but we'll take the touchdown to Godwin. It's all good. 17-0. Matt Pierre and the Buccaneers over New Orleans. This is where you'd like to see Matt settle in and start to just grind away this game, but he hasn't had positive yardage yet on the ground. That'll change right here. Pierre gets into the secondary and was very close to breaking that free. The draw now. Up the middle goes Matt. Oh, not going to overpower McClure. I forget when we play New Orleans at Tampa Bay, but I can't wait for that matchup either. Here's Winston to a wide open Evans, and he'll put us back in the red zone. We want more points. We're going to do more of this here. Howard stretches the defense, and Matt Pierre finds some space underneath. Right there. Easy. Make the catch. Pick up the first. How do you stop this team? 
45 yards receiving for Matt Pierre. Maybe it'll be career highs in the air this season. Now we're looking to run it. The pitch to the outside, and there's the opening. Touchdown, Matt Pierre. Continuing an excellent season here with the Bucks. It's number six on the ground. New Orleans was not ready. 24 to zero. And maybe we add even more on with Matt Pierre dragging a defender for five. Again, they blitz, dump it off to Matt. He can get past the linebacker, or I thought he would. Watch that right edge rush. Nope, they back off. Winston with time, and O.J. Howard moves the sticks. We run it again here with Pierre getting into the second level. Things are beginning to open up. Third and short. Matt will sit down right here, and he hangs on. Tough play by Matt, but that's what he excels at. They're booing Matt Pierre. Or maybe they're booing their defense. Maybe it's a combination of the two. But an interesting homecoming here for Matt Pierre. He came home to play in New Orleans, not far from his home in Louisiana, and now he's given the Saints fans a show in a different uniform. One more play here before the warning. Let's see if he finds O.J. Howard on the outside. Winston got time. O.J. Howard outside the numbers. I'll admit, I thought we'd win this game, but I didn't think it'd be this dominant. We've had some very interesting games lately. We're sure putting that Falcons blow up behind us. And again, underneath the zone coverage, trying to get open. There's Evans. Oh, he forgot the football. Third down and nine. We're going to send Matt right upfield here to the end zone. He's open. Matt Pierre's overthrown. No. Winston found him at the end, but man, that was way over his head. We have a chance to add even more points. I'm not sure how we got the football here at the Saint 45, but we're back on the move. For those of you that watched my Carolina Panthers franchise, I called this play a ton. And I used this to get Lance Adams open. Second down and four. Oh, nearly intercepted. What a play. All right, third and four for Jameis Winston. Up top, it's Mike Evans, but he can't hang on. It's been all Tampa Bay as we head into the second half. 27 to zero. Let's pitch it out now. Oh, get upfield here. It's better than a loss. I've always wanted to do a series like this where I give a player a long career and we can see all the numbers they rack up over time. I've always loved that idea. And this time we're actually able to do it with Matt Pierre. This is now his seventh season and it keeps telling me how close we are to the 10,000 rushing yard milestone, which is a pretty exclusive club. Third down and seven for Jameis Winston. Oh, I guess we have to punt. Again, we run, and there's just not much for Matt Pierre. He's been held to 40 rushing yards. In real life, there are 31 running backs who have joined the 10,000-yard club. There probably are some that have in this series as well. Good quick throw, and Wade moves the chains. But the last one to do it in real life appears to have been Marshawn Lynch. LaShawn McCoy also made it not long ago. Hand off Matt Pierre. There's some room for number 43. First down. I'm not sure how anybody could catch up to Emmett Smith, though. 18,355. That would just take so much time. First down and 10 here. As Winston again looks to throw it. Matt out of the flats. Little back juke there. Yeah, just run into each other. Little collision. First down. From the 46-yard line, again wide open. O.J. Howard gets a chance to show his speed. Down to the 30 of New Orleans. Let's run the counter now. Pierre, again for about four. 
The goal here for Matt Pierre is to get his 80th career rushing touchdown. Getting closer and closer to 100 as we get down to the 15. I want more points. Who knows? They can make a comeback. Winston, where you going? Sacked. New Orleans still shut out as we are about to take this to the fourth quarter after this snap. And Matt is taken down on the outside. Good play. Third down in 20. Not going to get too aggressive here, I wouldn't assume. Winston, where are you going? Uh-oh, it's Matt in the end zone! Touchdown! He was waiting for something to happen, so we make something happen! Matt Pierre turns the swing all the way into a half-circle route. That's what I'm going to call it. I've done this many times where we run the, the swing pattern here. Very simple, but then we have to do something else. So Winston says, I'll wait. I'm patient. Meanwhile, we're just like, okay, we'll get open in the end zone. That's a fun touchdown for Matt Pierre. The Saints do score, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Another fun episode here in the Matt Pierre Career Mode series. We'll get a few more carries here for Matt Pierre and hopefully not lose too many yards like we do here. And the third down. Again, Matt's open. Why not find him? Not much there, but I guess another catch is nice for the numbers. A lot of these plays, by the way, I haven't been calling for the football. It's just Winston seeing that Matt is open and finding him. So, that's... This has been one of my favorite... This has been my favorite team to play for. It's pretty easy to say that. Let's throw it again. Now Mike Evans will move the chains. Gain of 11. We will be chewing the clock as well. Up 34 to 7. A statement here for the Buccaneers. We must have one of the best records in the NFC. All right, Kareem Hunt, you can get a turn. Matt has taken his spot in both New Orleans and Tampa Bay. So let's get him some carries now. Make the most of your snaps, Kareem Hunt, because there aren't going to be many the way Matt is playing. All right. That was fun. Pierre returns to New Orleans, and it's an unforgettable visit. 34-7. to seven. Matt catches that nice touchdown in the end zone. He had the catch off the toss earlier in the game. Matt Pierre has the best game of his career and then follows it up with a solid performance. Jameis Winston started out pretty well but didn't have to do much the rest of the way and a lot of his passes got broken up. Cole Bulaga, meanwhile, just kind of a decent performance. We saw a lot of decent performances from him. Touchdown, interception. He likes to run. He does so nine times in this game, so it's not just when we're playing with him. It's all the time. Pierre, 84 yards and a score, and then receiving. Eight grabs, 86 yards, and a great touchdown catch. We're now 5-1. and one. This is new, and I like it. The Buccaneers are first place in the AFC, or the NFC South. We get the Cardinals next, and then a bye week while Matt rests up to take on the Saints again. You know I'm looking forward to playing against this defense one more time. Anyway, here are the numbers now for Matt on the season. 543 rushing yards with six scores. And then in the air, Pierre has broken out to lead the team with 397 receiving yards. Who expected that kind of production? This is how close we are to 10,000 rushing yards. 1,014 away. And in the receiving department, I guess the next milestone will be 400 catches. We're 22 off of that. The way this season is going, it might take four episodes. All right, everybody, that's another episode in the books. This has proven to be the most fun season yet. Please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave your feedback in the comment section. How well do you think Matt and the Bucks are going to do this season? I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.